Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be talking about upscaling images and the various options that you have available to you to upscale an image. So open up your Comfy UI, make sure you're running the latest so updates, both Comfy UI and any extensions you may have, uh, just keeps things up to date and relevant. Uh, once you have done that, let's make sure you have these following custom nodes installed, the Comfy UI Impact Pack, the Tiny Terra nodes, the Ultimate SD Upscale, the Comfy Roll, and those are the ones that I need you to have installed to if you want to follow along with this video. Okay, once you have the custom nodes installed, also click the Install Models and search for upscale and go ahead and install all these upscale models and download them to your machine i've already done that ahead of time just to speed things up once you have the models and the custom nodes installed restart your comfy ui and head over to this blank canvas so the first thing we're going to do is a out of the box kind of image upscaling uh, that just Comfy UI gives you from, from out of the box. So let's load an image. Okay. And then you can look over here at the image upscaling. They've got different ways to upscale. Right? So the two we're going to look at today is upscale by a scale factor or upscale using a model. So if I say upscale by, you can see that I've got this scale by factor, right? So if we want to go four times upscale, we can do that. And preview that image, let's queue that up. All right, so this is a way to upscale this image here. If you zoom in, you can see it's still got lots and lots of uh, pixelization or artifacts, I guess, uh, as they call it. Uh, so this is not a great way to upscale your image. Uh, a better way to upscale would be to use a model. So if we upscale using a model and we preview this one, We use this upscale model loader over here and we choose the one of the models we've downloaded so these these should be all the models that we downloaded um, from the comfy ui manager and we try to preview that one and you compare these two images you can see immediately that the one using a model on the right is much better than this one on the left right so in general, I recommend using an upscaling model. Right now, how do I know the size of these images? All right, so this is this is tip number one. If you right click here and you say open image, your browser tab tells you the size of the image. So this is 512 by 512. And over here, we are upscaling to 2048 by 2048. All right, so that's tip number one. All right. Now, in this example, this is out of the box, All right? So I've shown you two ways out of the box to scale your your images. Uh, if this is more of an image to image of scaling, but if you want to have text image first, then we can do that too, All right? So let's clear this out. Load the default workflow. Okay, get our checkpoint selected and our positive prompt and negative prompt okay. and of course when it runs through this workflow and it decodes it we we're just going to upscale it here at the end so what we do is we choose one of those upscaling methods using a model
and then preview our image. Okay, so that's how you would do it when you're running text to image. And this is our upscaled four times image. See, it's by looking at the tab, 2048 by 2048. Now, tip number two is, you know, just a nice little info is if you don't want to do mathematics here, you can, for example, just do 256 times two, and it'll automatically multiply that for you and fill in the text box. So that's tip number two uh, for Comfy UI. All right, so that's out of the box. Now let's look at some of the extensions that we've installed. The first extension is the Comfy Roll extension. And the way that works is something similar. So let's clear this out. Let's load our image. All right, now we need to get the Comfy Roll upscale. So upscale image. And we do that, just drag this out, okay? And they've baked it all into one node over here. So we can choose the ultra sharp upscale model and upscale by four. And we can do that prompt. And now we have an upscaled image, 2048 by 2048, using the Comfy Roll custom node. Right, and similar thing if you if you didn't have a load image and you were using text to image, you would have all the nodes prior to this getting you to the um, pixel space, and then you would just drag in your pixels to the upscale. Right? So that's Comfy Roll. Next on the list would be um, Tiny Terror. So let's look at the a tiny terror way to do that. So let's clear this out. All right, and it's a slightly different workflow. What we're going to do is use these pipes. So we'll choose our checkpoint, and then we will put in our negative prompt. And our positive prompt, and then we need a sampler, so we'll follow the same tiny terror sampler where we join these two pipes together, and everything else is optional. Now, the typical work, uh, workflow would just be you know, drag an image out here, um, but what we want to do is we want to upscale it. So, what we do is we look here for their high res fixed scale and we join those two and the VAE and we're going to use this image here to preview. Let's put these two side by side and queue up the prompt. All right, so this one should be 512 by 512, and this one should be uh, 1024 by 1024, right? So, yep, 1024 by 1024. Okay, and the reason why it's 1024 by 1024 is because we have used this 50% rescale. If we went 100%, then it would be four times that. If you zoom in, you can see it still turns out very, very well. And yep, it's 1024 by 1024. Okay, so that's how you would upscale images with your Tiny Terra custom nodes. Now let's look at the ultimate SD upscaler. All right, so let's clear this out. And we need to load a checkpoint. And we need to 
load an image. And then we need the ultimate SD upscale node for this one. So we have oh, quite a few inputs here. We have the image, model, positive prompt, and so on. And since I'm working with an image, I really don't need the positive prompt, the negative prompt. Um, so we're just gonna leave them blank when we when we add in the clip encodes. So let's bring in this image here. We bring in the model, and we can bring in the VAE. All right. So, but what we also need is those prompts. So this prompt to the positive here, and we can collapse that. And this negative prompt to here, and we can collapse that. I'm not going to type anything in there because I already have a an image that I'm working with. And then the next up is the upscale model. So we will use our ultra sharp upscale model. And that sets up the ultimate SD upscale node. And now we can preview our upscaled image. But before I click preview, let's just make sure a few things. We can set this to four times upscale. And be careful with the denoise. Make sure the denoise is not one. It's somewhere between 0 0.2 and lower. And otherwise, you're you're changing the entire image and it's not going to come out the way you want it. All right, let's preview this. We have our ultimate SD upscale image at 2048 by 2048. Okay. Last one that I want to show you is the impact pack. Okay. Uh, I think it's a little bit more involved, but let's see if we can do it. So let's clear this out. And let's get everything set up here. So we need a load uh, checkpoint. We need a positive prompt and a negative prompt. I'll just color this in so we, so we know what they are. And then the way impact pact works is it works with these pipes. So we, we need to get all of these into a pipe. So over here in the impact pack is this pipe, two basic pipe, and we're gonna hook all this up. Okay. Let's just fill in our checkpoint and our prompts. Okay, now we need to take this pipe and send it through a sampler. And if you go here and you look for the K sampler, it's, it's not here, at least not the one with the pipe. You have to go to sampling, the default sampling menu, and then there's the K sampler pipe. That way now this basic pipe can be dragged to this basic pipe. Okay. Then similar thing, we need empty latent image. Okay. And uh, that gives us the, the latent image over here that we can decode that. So let's go ahead, decode that and preview the image. Now, let's just make sure this all works. Yep. Okay. Great, so it works. What we want to do now is upscale this image, okay? And to upscale it, there's two ways impact allows us to do that. One is 
upscale the actual pixels or upscale the latent um, space. So uh, before I do that, I want to do another tip for you, everyone, uh, which is if you hold down control and you select all these nodes, actually, let's do it one more. Look for an upscale model loader. Yeah, this one. So let's select all these nodes using control. And then right click and say convert group to group node. Right? Now it's condensed all of those into a really nice node where a pipe is coming out and we can choose our checkpoint, our upscale model, and we have a positive and negative prompt. So it just simplified the whole diagram, right? So now let's go ahead and find our upscale image. Okay, so this is how we will upscale an image and it's expecting pixels. So this is our decoded pixels. We bring that in and we can bring in the VAE and then of course we need an upscaler. So the upscaler is this pixel K sample, K sample upscaler provider pipe. This is the one we need, right? And over here, the basic pipe goes here and then our upscale model goes there. Then lastly, we can preview that image so this is the original image and then this is the upscaled image now before we cue the prompts let's let's use our force force times upscale but we also need to be careful with the denoise right denoise is we don't want to change this entire image completely at 100 percent. so let's make sure this is 0 0.2 and we can queue that up. All right, there's our image. Let's open it up. You can see it's 2048 by 2048, and it's pretty good. Uh, no pixelization or artifacts, so that looks pretty good. Right, so that's one way is to use the pixel space. The other way is to use the latent space. So if we add another node here and we use this iterative upscale latent, then it has similar, similar, similar setup, all right, it's got an upscaler, so we can just reuse this upscaler, and, but the input is samples and not pixels, so what we, in this case, we already decoded to pixels, so we will just take the latent samples over here and bring them in there, and then we have to decode after that. So let's have a look. Now we should get very, very, very similar images. Okay, um, we made a small mistake here. I just forgot to make this four times. Let's cue that again.
Yeah, there we go. So we have very, very similar images. All right, so just two different ways to upscale using Impact Pack. One is with the pixels and one with the latent. Okay. And so that's all for today, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to learn more about Stable Diffusion and Comfy UI, check out the links below in the description. And I will leave this GitHub page for where I have all the workflows. If you come here and you look at upscaling, I've got all the various things I demonstrated in this video today. And as always, please support this channel by subscribing and clicking the like button below.